every Syrian have a tragedy in, in, in his life. From the direct and direct relative and a friend, we lost more than 20, 20 persons. We lost them. And my direct friends, maybe at least 50 percent, they lost their houses. The Syrian tragedy, it's, uh, it's beyond the imagination. My name is uh, Omar, Omar al Homosh, and uh, we are the second uh, arrival family into Jasper. We are here since uh, about uh, six months. Working with, with Petro Canada or Sankor in Syria, it was the best job in Syria. With, uh, we are living in Damascus, one, it's the best city in, in, in Syria. We are living in a, one of the best quarters even in, in Syria. Everything is easy for us, but uh, yeah, we didn't expect to, to have this ending. When the Syrian crisis started, we, we never expected that it will take that long time and it will never get into this level of, of violence and it's a start have a deep impact on the kids. Several times I try to protect them even with my body. All the time I feel afraid for my kids when they went to school and came back. All the time I must be with them. Me and Roland make our decision. It's time to leave. We go to Cairo. I have a lot of friends over there. So we plan just to stay the, the summer time, but uh, it's our fourth year. Leaving a homeland, it's not a joke. It's not easy. It's really, really hard. It's not just a matter of your house. It's, uh, it's everything. Your family, your memories, your, your, your entire plans, your friends. It's your life. I miss it. I miss a lot of things. My mother's still over there. Uh, she's in Aleppo. I think about her every, every second. My father buried in Syria. Yes, yes I do. Yes I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah she is uh, just with my two sisters. She's uh, in Aleppo, much safer right now. But uh, the hard, the, the, the life is, is, is hard over there. They, they're struggling with everything. Yeah. Mm. I met Omar in Syria while working for an Akami. When I was working in Northern Kurdistan, we, like I said, we talked from time to time. And I did ask a question while we were in Kurdistan, if, if it was getting dangerous enough to get out and you know we would offer our help in Canada. It was a couple of years later actually that he said yes to 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 the offer. We really knew nothing about um, immigration or refugees. We were told it would take five years to get him here. In 2015 when the doors opened we were lucky. <laughs> the community sponsored with with monies from from the, that the community raised, we raise money through uh, uh, a GoFundMe campaign. And then we were just given stuff, furniture, dishes, pots, pans, everything that you could possibly need to start a home. It's unbelievable how Jasper came together. Syrian crisis improved our capability to deal with the hard times. But the first moment when I get into this apartment, oh my gosh, it's a piece of art. Everything is ideal, everything is amazing. It's beyond our imagination. The people here are very friendly, very nice. Uh, I go with uh, many friends to go hiking in the morning and uh, enjoy together uh, to take the coffee, Syrian coffee sometimes, uh, Canadian coffee sometimes, yeah. For the oldest boy, Almost nothing changed for them. They deal with the winter just like any other Canadian boy. <laughs> Abud, a little bit scary, but he is doing very well. But Abud have a special uh, experience. It's the first time even in his life playing with the snow. <laughs> and when he started playing, it's an unforgettable moment. Yeah. People have an idea of what a refugee is. And 
Omar and his family don't represent that at all. They're, 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 they're like our family and your family. They want to be happy and to raise their kids in a safe, a safe place. Before we arrive into Jasper, we know that just one Syrian family and three other Arabic families. So we thought that is our small community. And I was wrong. We have a big community now, big, big. Yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, friends from everywhere. I love this country. I, I, I proud that I'm here in, in, in Canada and uh, I'm, I'm proud that my kids were raised in such of this community.